When I meet people for the first time, I usually don't immediately volunteer what I do. I'm a professional mermaid. People are kind of like, what, what do you mean you're a mermaid? They usually don't know how to react to it. So I live here. It's in LA, yet it feels a world away. It feels like I'm in a tropical paradise. I don't drink any caffeine. I enjoy some scrambled eggs with some seaweed mixed in, and I love my lemon water. This is the key to my energy. I'm pretty low maintenance when it comes to hair and makeup, but I think I bought about 30 different kinds of mascara before I found the right waterproof mascara. One important key left, twinkle the starfish. And now we're ready to move on. I have had all kinds of strange offers for work as a mermaid. I always keep my seashells on. Today's a huge day for me. After over two years in the making, I am launching the Mermaid Linden by Body Glove line of swim products for children at the Aquarium of the Pacific in Long Beach. The heart of what I do is education for children about the ocean. I'm just such a science geek, so I need to finish editing my video for the theater presentations at the aquarium today. I don't keep my tails in my closet so that they stay nice and they don't get wrinkles, especially the top uh, tail, which is made out of really light foam. It's my land tail, which I'll be using for my meet and greets today. The second tail down here is my new silicone tail, and we're gonna go take this over to Vincent Van Dyke Studios. We're gonna just kind of do a once over and make sure everything's perfect for my aquarium swim later today. Cool. Yeah, and then I think we'll just rebuild a little bit of this kind of rounded edge. You know, just these couple of little touch-ups. This is the original mold from tail 1.0. This is what my feet are doing inside of the foot pockets. The thing that makes me unique from other mermaids, there is a shape to the fluke that's a crescent. Most tails have a shape that's kind of like a dolphin or a whale. So I actually did a lot of research and discovered some of the fastest fish in the world possess the shape of a fluke. The tail is ready and I'm off to the aquarium. When I first arrive at a venue, I'd love to go and walk around, but I always end up going in the back door because a lot of kids would probably be really upset if they saw the mermaid walking around. You should meet Botslav. He is my safety diver today in the tank. Today, I get to interact with those little sea fans, and when they come up to me, and I get to look in their eyes and see the excitement. That's my reward. Greater than any sand dollar <laughs> you could give me is the look on a child's face, and they believe in the magic. So while I'm taking my break, all the other little sea fans are gonna be in the theater learning how they can help protect our ocean. I went to school with the dream of creating underwater wildlife documentaries. When I was at a competition filming divers with these monofins, I thought it looked so beautiful and graceful like a mermaid. And I kind of had a light bulb moment. If I were a mermaid, I could educate kids about my passion, the ocean, in a really unique and fun way. Because I do this in a lot of crazy places, I've gotten used to tuning out of all the noise and I'm able to just relax and be in my happy mermaid bubble. So I'm going underwater, but I'll see you topside. I took coaching and lessons from world champion freedivers. My breath hold can vary dramatically from day to day. I can top off my personal best at just over five minutes. Everything's very blurry, but I can sort of see vague shapes and outlines through the glass of the aquarium. The mermaid movement itself, much of it came intuitively, but a lot of it just came from trial and error and putting a little camera underwater and watching myself. I've always been really very imaginative, very whimsical, but this is by far and away the coolest job I ever could have imagined. Thank you so much for hanging out with me for a day in my life as a mermaid. <laughs>